Imagine flying at 20,000 feet when the pilot becomes incapacitated. No experience, no co-pilot, no idea what to do. Now imagine pushing one button and watching the airplane fly itself to the nearest safe airport, land, and stop. This isn't science fiction, it's Gaumian Autoland. Behind that single button lies an intricate web of software, data, and engineering brilliance designed to save lives. Gaumian Autoland isn't just autopilot. It's a fully autonomous emergency landing system. Available in aircraft like the Piper M600, Cirrus Vision Jet, and TBM960, it activates with a press of a guarded button in the cockpit or automatically if it detects pilot incapacitation. Once triggered, it seizes control from the pilot, calculates the best airport, communicates with ATC, and flies the plane safely to the ground. At the heart of Autoland is Garmin's G3000 Integrated Flight Deck a digital nerve center connecting avionics, navigation, autopilot, and engine control. The system instantly evaluates aircraft position, fuel status, terrain, runway lengths, weather conditions, and obstacles. Using real-time data, it prioritizes the closest safe airport not just the nearest and creates a flight path within seconds. The system constantly monitors potential diversion airports using onboard maps and GPS. It considers runway length, approach type, elevation, and surface conditions. If a short, high-altitude strip surrounded by mountains is closer than a longer, flatter airport, Autoland will bypass it. It's a smart triage algorithm not a rigid checklist balancing safety with immediacy. Once it chooses an airport, Autoland communicates its intentions without human input. It automatically squawks 7700, the emergency transponder code, alerts ATC via data link, and issues audio messages on common radio frequencies like 121.5 MHz. These pre-recorded messages tell controllers and nearby pilots the aircraft is executing an autonomous emergency landing. Next comes speed, altitude, and descent control. Autoland adjusts power, deploys flaps, and trims the aircraft just like a human pilot. If terrain rises, it climbs. If a descent is needed, it manages vertical speed to keep passengers comfortable while conserving fuel. Even weather is considered Autoland will avoid dangerous conditions or divert if the primary airport is no longer safe. During descent, the system uses terrain databases, GPS altitude, and barometric pressure readings to stay clear of mountains, towers, and other aircraft. This is where the real code magic happens multiple systems constantly cross-check each other. If a sensor fails or data becomes unreliable, Autoland recognizes it and either adapts or disengages safely. As the plane nears the airport, Autoland lines up for approach. This includes slowing the aircraft to landing speed, extending gear and flaps, and engaging precise lateral and vertical guidance. It uses GPS-based LPV approaches whenever possible for accuracy, mimicking an ILS glide slope. The plane flies smoother than many human landings and it's all code behind the curtain. Autoland also manages the flare the critical last second pitch up that softens touchdown. Using radar altimeters and barometric sensors, it knows exactly when to flare, how much to pitch, and when to idle the throttle. In test after test, Autoland has demonstrated landings smoother than many private pilots. It even factors in crosswinds and gusts on final approach. After touchdown, Autoland isn't finished. It activates brakes, decelerates to taxi speed, and stops the aircraft safely on the runway. It then shuts down the engine and displays instructions for passengers on the cockpit screen. These include how to exit the aircraft and what emergency services are en route. It's the full landing sequence end to end with no pilot at the controls. Behind the scenes, the software runs on custom code developed in compliance with DO17AC level of standards, the strictest level of aviation software certification. That means every single line of code has been reviewed, tested, and verified multiple times under rigorous fault conditions. Redundant systems protect against hardware failure. It's bulletproof logic backed by aerospace grade engineering. Gamine engineers describe Autoland's AI like behavior as decision trees on steroids. It's not just reacting, it's predicting, choosing, adapting. Every second, the system evaluates multiple data streams, weather, terrain, fuel, power plant health, and even the G-forces inside the cabin. If something changes mid-flight, say a sudden headwind or airport closure, Autoland will recalculate. 
One of the most astonishing features is its passenger interface. The cockpit displays change once Autoland is activated. Bold, clear messages in plain language reassure the passenger, the aircraft is landing itself. Audio messages explain what's happening in simple terms. There's no aviation jargon just calm, clear reassurance that help is on the way and safety is in progress. What if someone accidentally presses the Autoland button, no problem. The system asks for confirmation via an on-screen countdown. If the situation is not actually an emergency, the pilot can override and resume manual flight. But if no response is detected, Autoland assumes the worst and proceeds to take over. It's built with both caution and urgency in mind. Redundancy is baked in. Dual autopilot servos, backup batteries, independent attitude indicators, and secondary navigation sources all feed the brain behind Autoland. If the primary system fails, it can seamlessly hand off control. Even the touchscreen interface is backed by physical buttons. No single failure takes the system offline a must for a life or death feature. Let's talk testing. Before it went into production, Gaming tested Autoland in over 800 live flights and thousands of simulator hours. Engineers simulated engine failures, GPS loss, weather shifts, and electrical faults. They threw curveballs at the system until it could handle nearly every imaginable emergency. The result, FAA and ES, a certification in multiple aircraft platforms. Autoland represents a historic shift in general aviation safety. For decades, flying depended solely on the pilot. Now, for the first time, the airplane can be its own emergency response system. That's not just automation, it's autonomy. It's the kind of tech that might one day lead to single pilot airline operations, drone air taxis, or even fully autonomous aircraft. Who benefits the most from Autoland today? It's ideal for non-pilot passengers, high net worth individuals, and single pilot operators of small jets and turboprops. If a medical event, hypoxia, or confusion occurs midair, Autoland can prevent tragedy. But even experienced pilots appreciate the safety net hits one button peace of mind when every second counts. As of 2025, Autoland is installed in the Cirrus Vision Jet Piper M6 of OSLS and RTBM 960. More platforms are on the horizon, and Gamin is actively working with OEMIS to integrate it into future aircraft. Meanwhile, Pilots are beginning to train for Autoland events during checkouts and simulator sessions, treating it like a fire extinguisher rarely used, but mission critical. The big question, could Autoland replace pilots? Not yet. It's a failsafe, not a primary mode of operation. It can't handle ATC delays, complex weather deviations, or dynamic airspace restrictions. But what it can do is save lives when a pilot can't, that alone has earned it a place in the cockpit of the future where human skill meets machine precision. In the end, Gamin Autoland is a quiet revolution. It's not flashy or loud, but it's changing the way we think about flying. With one button, it turns terror into order, chaos into control. The brilliance isn't just in the code. It's in the trust it earns from every pilot, passenger, and family member who knows that if the worst happens, the plane can still come home.